Hey, Rumi. What's up? You can't sleep? That's a bummer. Oh, me? I was just playing some Hi-Fi Rush. It's this new game that dropped out of nowhere, and it's a blast. But I'm sure you could hear some of it. I, I got a little too excited at times. I hope I didn't keep you up. Or you're welcome. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. But yeah, that's what I was doing. You know me, I'm pretty much nocturnal. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I might go to bed at a reasonable hour someday, but it will not be today. <laughs> but you should be up in less than five hours, so what's wrong? Too much on your mind? Mm. Yeah, I can imagine. You've been pretty busy lately, haven't you? Hmm. Wanna go into the living room and watch The Last of Us? Maybe that'll help you sleep. I still need to watch the latest episodes. Yeah? No? I mean, I would love to watch them with you. You just want to lay down, huh? Hey, that's okay. Hey. How about this? How about I come with you to your room and keep you company? Nothing weird. I'll just be there and help you relax until you fall asleep. Listen, listen. You know, you're not alone. We're roomies and friends. We take care of each other, yeah? <laughs> okay, then I'll come with you. Oh, <laughs> so this is your room, huh? Damn, you live like this? It's, it's pretty nice. Here, let me just pull up a chair. Mm, wait, on second thought, just lay down. I'll come and lay down next to you. It's more comfortable for both of us that way. <laughs> Don't be shy now. I've seen you without a shirt on plenty of times, and I'm staying above the cover, so it's not weird. Come on, chop chop, get into bed. <laughs> there, good boy. Yeah. Okay, maybe it's better to move some stuff away from it first. Damn, you must really have a lot on your mind. I mean, last time I was in here, it was much tidier. Uh, uh, I, I, yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, of course, sorry, sorry, I misspoke. This is, this is definitely the first time I've been in here. I just happened to glance through your door the other day. I, I mean, <laughs> I respect your privacy after all. I'm, mm -hmm. Okay, okay, anyway, are you comfortable? Good. Let me just lay down next to you. There we are. See? This way, I'm right beside your ear. You'll hear me perfectly without me needing to talk out loud. Just be sure if me talking to you like this has any unforeseen side effects on you, just ignore them. Don't worry about it. I'm only here to help you sleep, and as soon as I'm sure you're under, I'll move back to my own room. Listen, listen, getting a little chub when you're relaxed is perfectly natural. <laughs> I didn't notice a thing. You don't have to be embarrassed. Alright, are you ready to start? Close your eyes and take a deep breath. You're way too tense, Rumi. I'm going to softly stroke the top of your head now. You're safe with me. I'm your roommate, your friend, and I never want to harm you. I want you to be happy and rested. Trust me to take good care of you, and I'll help you let go of that tension. Take a deep breath. Inhale. Hold it for a few seconds. One, two, three. And exhale. Good. Let's do it again, but this time I'll do it with you. One, two, three. And exhale. We're just going to do this for a while while I stroke your head as long as we need to make you feel comfortable, okay? To help you get some rest. The only thing that matters is how comfortable you are. 
how warm, how soft the bed is, how relaxed my whispers make you feel. Every time you hear my voice, every time you feel my warm breath tickle your ear, you can feel the tension leave your body. There. Doesn't that feel much, much better? Now, let's go on a journey together. Imagine you're not in your bed anymore, but you're on a small rowboat. It's mid-July, the sky is clear, not a cloud in sight, and the temperature is just right. Instead of my warm breath on your skin, is the warmth of the sun gently caressing you, soothingly touching every inch of it, making you feel so, so good. There is no one in sight. It's just you, on your boat, in the middle of a beautiful clear lake. You can hear the water softly push up against the outside of the boat as you drift along an invisible current. A current of time. There's an endless supply of time here. You have no obligations, no appointments, no deadlines. It's just you, your boat, the water, the sun, and a slight breeze. You admire your surroundings, the endless, dense forest, the mountains on the horizon, the knowledge there's not a hint of civilization for miles. You're all alone. Nobody will disturb you. Just you in a void of quiet calm. It's all so warm and colorful, and you notice it's making you so so tired. You want nothing more than to just lay back in your boat, which is shaped exactly right, making you feel so comfortable, and close your eyes for a bit. Take a long, well-deserved nap. It's so warm out here, so comfortable. The gentle breeze is the perfect white noise. The water pushing the boat along disappears to the background. It's just you and the breeze now. Your eyes have closed. The only thing left of the sun shining outside is the warmth it leaves all over your body. The same kind of warmth coming from my voice. The same kind of breeze coming from my breath. I... I am your warmth. I am your soft breeze. My voice relaxes you. It puts you into a perfect state of deep relaxation. All you feel is calm from the tip of your toes to your legs, your stomach, your chest, your arms, your hands, your face. All of the tension is gone. Every word I speak relaxes you more and more. You can trust me. It's okay. I will take good care of you. I will always be here to help you, to guide you, to put you to sleep, to relax you, to make you feel so wonderfully relaxed. My voice is your anchor, fixing your boat stopping it from drifting, leaving you in that perfect position, covered by the sun's warmth, leaving you to rest as long as you could possibly want. Sleep, sweet Rumi, sleep. My voice anchors you to the peace of mind, to rest and relaxation. My warm breath makes you feel comfortable and loved. Now, let my touch make you happy. You feel warm, relaxed, and peaceful. Now you feel my body against yours. It's so soft, so nice, so sweet. Each of my soft curves hugs your body perfectly, like the most perfect pillow in existence. 
Feel my hand softly stroking your hair, gently patting your head, showing you the affection you deserve and that you crave so much. With every pat of your head, you feel happy. You inwardly smile. You feel so appreciated. You deserve this. You deserve the rest. You deserve the peace. You deserve the comfort. You deserve the appreciation. You're doing so well and you're working so hard. This is for you. This is your time. It's okay if your body tricks you into thinking that this is more than comfort, more than affection, more than head pats. But don't worry about a thing. You are perfect the way you are, and all you're doing is resting. Relaxing. Smiling. Resting. Relaxing. Smiling. And with every repeat of that cycle, with every inhale, every sigh, your breath sinking up to mine, with every passing second, you relax more and more. Your subconscious goes deeper and deeper. The only thing left now is a black void. You and I. My voice, my breath, my body, my hands. I am all over you, holding you close, holding you warm, making you feel happy and appreciated. You are so appreciated. You are so happy. My voice is your anchor. It keeps you tied to this black void where there's only you and I, and nothing else. Where you can relax, be yourself, feel appreciated, feel my touch, feel me patting your head, hugging you softly with my curves. Every word I speak, every word I whisper, pushes its way into your brain, through your body, through your bloodstream, making every single nerve ending tingle in warmth. You don't have to move. You don't have to do anything. You can listen to my voice for as long as you want. While I talk to you, time stands still, and you can just enjoy this feeling. Enjoy the feeling of my voice making its way through your body, touching your subconscious, Stroking it, patting it, hugging it, warming it, warming you. It's okay if you're starting to feel aroused from my voice. Just let it wash over you and let it help you feel good. That feeling is just part of your relaxation, of you feeling appreciated. Just accept it. I'm happy that my voice makes you feel like this. It makes me smile to see you relax through my words. Making you happy. Seeing you happy. It makes me happy. I will never tell anyone you're perfectly safe with me. I will take good care of you. Just let all all the positive feelings flow through your body. Let your appreciation for me mirror my appreciation for you. Feel my curves press into you a little bit tighter, warmer. It feels so much better if we appreciate each other. And I appreciate you so, so much. I know you appreciate me too. So, relax. And just enjoy feeling me so, so close to you. 
You really like this new side of me. This beautiful, calm voice. It fills you with warmth. It relaxes you. It makes you sleepy in the best way. You'll hear it in your dreams. You'll hear me during the day when you drift off. It's left an impression on your brain. Like part of me drifting around your head, stuck there forever. Always stroking your senses. Making you feel good whenever you think of my voice. Whenever you think of me. And you want me there. You want my voice in your ears. You want me floating around in your head because it feels so nice. It feels so good to listen to my voice. It feels so good to just relax. Let go of the tension and sleep. Do let my voice take over control of your body, your muscles, your senses. It feels like I belong there. I belong in your head. I belong in your senses. I belong here. Control of your body belongs to me because it feels good. Because it feels wonderful. Because you love the sound of my voice more than anything. Because you can only feel this relaxed, this good, this wonderful through my voice. Whenever I use my normal voice, when I talk to you, or when you hear me from the other room, when I'm talking to my friends, you'll feel a little tug in your brain, like it's telling you something, but you won't be able to place it. It's when I use my voice like this, when I talk to you directly, when I talk slowly, deeply, with the intent to penetrate your walls, that's when you realize that it feels so incredible to just surrender to my voice. Look at you, Rumi. So peaceful. So sleepy. Tomorrow morning, when you wake up, you will feel more rested than you ever have. For now, though, I want you to feel my hand stroking your hair and patting your head ever so gently so softly just lay your head down on my chest just like